All right, so this video is uh, designed to uh, give you an introduction to a very, very basic use of formulas in uh, a spreadsheet, in this case, Google Sheets. Uh, it seems that there are, uh, there's a need here sometimes when we're working with budgets and, and really anything where you need to calculate. Uh, where you're going to want you're going to want the computer to do the work for you rather than you um, trying to recalculate as as changes need to be made for a budget. So uh, this video is just going to show you the very basics of setting up how to um, multiply two cells for a total cost, and then of course uh, sum up a grand total at the bottom of your budget. So what I've created here is an uh, a spreadsheet with three items. You'll see that I have uh, item headers at the top, and in fact, if I want to distinguish this this section here to be different than these three, um, I can click on the one here, which selects the entire row, um, or I could I could also just choose to select those cells. But in this case, I'm just going to select the row, and I'm going to hit bold, and that gives me a better idea of the distinction between the headers and the items in the budget. And then I have a grand total here, which I will also bold. And I'm, I've left some room here in case I needed to add items. But here's the basic idea. So you want to uh, be able to create a, uh, a list of items, how much it costs for each of those items, and then multiply that by the quantity to get a total cost. All right. And so while you may adjust these numbers as you're figuring your budget out, you um, you don't want to have to continue to adjust these numbers. So let's just let's do this. I'm going to highlight uh, the C column because these are dollars, and I'm going to come up here and I'm going to format this as currency. Okay, and it'll automatically format it accordingly. And these are quantities, so those are not not dollar amounts. So first thing we're going to do is, in order to get a total cost for the first item here, it looks like 3D printers at a cost of $21.99 each at a quantity of two. We're going to click in the cell where we want the formula to take place. And I'm going to type on my keyboard an equal sign. The equal sign is start a formula of some kind. right? And then I'm going to identify the two cells that I'm going to multiply together. So as you can see, the value of 2199 is sitting at this cell called C2, column C, row 2. Okay, And it even shows me a preview there. That's the one I'm referring to. All right. Uh, to multiply, it's just an asterisk. You can see that now the cell's been highlighted, and it's going to multiply by D2. Again, it gives me that total. Um, I'm going to see a preview of it. And then I just hit return on my keyboard, and it brings it out. All right. Now, that's really great and really handy because now if I go in here and I say, well, actually, we need four of those, it automatically changes that total cost. So, oh, wait, you know what? I forgot the education discount. It's actually $19.99. All right, so everything gets calculated for you, and you're not having to worry about making sure that your numbers are, are correct. Now, the other thing is, so let's say I had 50 items in this list. I only have three right now. But if I had 50, I don't want to have to go in and type the formula each time. So what you can do is when you have one that works, you'll see a small little handle here at the bottom right. If you click on that and you drag downwards, what it's going to do is it's going to take that same formula and bring it down the rows in these new rows, you can see up here on the top left, represent the data that's next to them to their left, as opposed to referring back to the original data in the earlier cells. I go one more down, and sure enough, my data set here is C4 and D4. All right, and that would work for all the way down, all the items if I needed them to. All right, and finally, if I wanted to create a grand total, I'd click in my grand total area. I'm going to hit equal sign to start a new formula. And this formula is very easy. It's just called sum. Okay. And I'm going to do a couple things. So I can start a parenthesis, meaning I'm going to sum some sort of number. And I could just grab these, right? In fact, I can grab all these if I wanted to. And then I can end parentheses. And I can hit enter. And there's my total. All right. So you can do that, or if you just did equals sum and then parentheses, you could actually click in there and drag again. So there's a couple ways to do that. I, I think it's easier for me if I just do equals sum. I start my parentheses, I drag my items that I want to, and I end my parentheses, and I hit total. And again, you know, as we go through here, we said, oh, wait, we have 21 students in the class. The 
total here gets updated and the total down here gets updated. Oh, I made a mistake. Sorry, just 20 kids. That one guy dropped out and everything gets adjusted. So that's a really quick way to get you up and running on using a spreadsheet for budget purposes in Google Sheets.